So guys, what I'm wearing right now is a pinifa. It's my first time wearing a pinifa in my life. <laughs> my mother got it for me. And yeah, you know where I come from. A makoti is a makoti. By wearing a pinifa. So, but then for me, my husband, he doesn't want me to wear like I'm a pretty fine stuff. He says that it makes me look like I'm an old woman. <laughs> I guess he just likes his wife looking all young and fabulous, not looking like Makoti. Um, yeah, but then what I mean, I don't mind. I like it, you know, especially this color. It is perfect. I love it so much. So, hey. So what pinifa? <laughs> 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 Come say hi. <laughs> so this is the husband who doesn't want me to wear pinifa. <laughs> mm. Yeah, pinifa no. Mm -hmm. mm, not my style. Not your style, baby. Not my style. Oh my word, you look like it's you so it. What's happening everybody? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I hope you guys are great and I hope you guys are good. Yeah, I hope you guys are fabulous and you are staying hydrated as it is very hot this summer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we should have all have some water, enough liquids, you know, in our bodies <laughs> and stuff. Okay, guys, so today I'm going to be talking about just myself and <clears throat> okay. I'm going to be talking about how it is like to be a Shona bride, <laughs> a Shona Makoti. Um, yes, guys. So um, I am currently um, married, or well, not married, married, <laughs> not legally married, but yes, I am married um, traditionally um, to my husband. Um, he is from Zimbabwe and he is shona and i am from south africa and i am sutu and zulu <laughs> mixed together <laughs> yeah my mother is zulu and my father is sutu um so yeah so what happened was um my husband and i we met last year which was 2021 and okay we started talking like my husband is a photographer um yeah like he does a lot of like work but then the one that he really likes and really enjoys the most is photography so um he used to take pictures you know like take pictures of people and all of that then there was this other time um when i was in town and he was taking pictures there then um took pictures of me and then i was like okay i'll come and get my pictures it was like you take pictures and then send them to you on whatsapp okay and yeah so like i was like okay i'm gonna come pay for them and then take them and then i didn't come back um okay a week or two passed and then i saw him texting me I'm like okay um let me see i'm like oh it's this guy i wonder why he texting me now <laughs> and i wonder where did he get my numbers from <laughs> okay he texted me asked me how i'm doing i was like okay i'm good and then sent me my pictures i'm like oh thank you so much i'm so sorry that i didn't come back to get my pictures like okay no no problem like here are your pictures i'm like okay um when i come to town then i'll come and pay for them okay and he's like all right no problem and we used to talk once in a while you know just hey hey hi how you doing okay okay when are you coming to town i'm like oh i'll come to town tomorrow and then tomorrow when i have to go to town then i don't go to town if i do go to town then i don't go to him you know it was just like nah <laughs> Nah, I ain't going to see this guy. I'm just not going to see this guy. You know, I'm just not. And yeah, so like that happened for from March up until July. 
Yeah, then in July, that's when I decided, you know what? I'm sure going to see this guy wouldn't hurt me, you know? You know, I won't lose anything by going to see him, so let me just go. And yeah, then I went to see him, went to his office, um, you know, like to his camera. Then we went out, you know, just take pictures, took pictures of me. Then we were talking while we were, while we were taking pictures. We're talking, you know, like our conversation just, you know, we just clicked, you know, like spoke about a lot of things, you know, like spoke about, um, you know, family and all of that, you know like to, we got to a point of talking like okay i am a family woman you know like i want to have kids and um i want a big family and he also wanted the same thing so i guess that's like one of the things that actually made us you know like click and stuff so um yeah and then that day was over and after that we started talking <laughs> yeah after that we started talking like people that actually know each other and got to a point where I went to visit him at his place I'd been trying by all means not to go to his place because I knew what would happen when I go to his place so I was trying by all means to avoid that but then hey life got me life caught up with me <laughs> then I went to his place I then the rest is history you know, like from that day on, because there's a culture that we use at home, um, our cultures are almost the same. You know, like wrote a letter to my parents telling them that he wants, um, like he, it's, he has seen a beautiful flower and, you know, and he wants that flower. He wants to come and, you know, pick that flower. <laughs> Yeah, so like the um, the letter went to my parents and yeah, then said that he's coming on the 1st of October and yeah, then that's what happened. Then my dad asked me, you know, like my dad and my mother asked me like, okay, so this guy, my mother did know him, you know, but then my dad didn't know him. So like I had to explain and get a guy from him. I'm like, I go like i've known him he's been around and his family like basically like his whole family his mother his father sisters they're all like now living in south africa so yeah so we just our family or both our families are both here in south africa so i guess it's just like made life more easier like that you know yeah so then they came to my house on the first of october um paid lobola and we dressed up <laughs> i'll show you guys some pictures we dressed up then um after that we went um my family and his family celebrated you know like went and had lunch and stuff like that like it was very nice um so yeah so right now um what's gonna happen is um probably next year 2023 we have to start planning our wedding you know because at this moment traditionally i'm married yes but then legally i'm not married i am still you know <laughs> i'm still single and staying with a partner that's what's happening right now so yeah but then um next week we are going to zim and yeah we're going to see his other family that's there and he's also got kids that are in zim so he also wants to spend some time with his kids and introduce me to his kids so yeah so we're gonna be going there next week um so like i'll be filming everything for you guys i mean like it's my first time ever going to zimbabwe and yeah the only place that i've been to our south africa is Lesotho, who was my grandmother, we always go there to visit her. Um, so yeah, going to Zim, that will be my second country that I've been to outside South Africa. So yeah, so yep, I will keep you guys posted and do a video, do like a vlog of how we go, how we get there, when we get there, things that we do when we get there and the kind of place that they stay in because you know i mean like he stays in harare 
yeah the capital city of them so yeah i'm guessing it won't be as difficult to get around <laughs> you know <laughs> since it's in town and uh, yeah like a city and stuff so yeah i think everything will be great so yeah guys that is just me and how i got into my marriage yep and yes really mm. <laughs> and that is weird which one oh that's my thingy yeah so i was just telling everyone on how we met and where we are <laughs> and where we are going <laughs> i didn't meet you how do you know that i'm not even a ghost <laughs> i am not a ghost maybe, maybe i don't even exist maybe I, I exist only in your mind really mm -hmm. that would be funny yeah <laughs> that would be really funny like that would be weird imagining a zimbabwean guy mm -hmm. 